hello guys welcome back to the channel and in this video i'm going to show you the simplest way to complete this lab and if this video helpful for you please like the video and comment down below so that youtube algorithm promote the video and other viewers can watch this so just log in with your credentials and activate your cloud shield it will take a couple of seconds so just wait for that let me just increase the text size okay and uh, the document i use in this lab or for this video i will share the link in description box from there you can just access all this document so what you have to do just control a copy all the document and paste over here okay wait for a couple of seconds and simply click on authorize so you are done with the task number one now just simply come on the task number two okay now open this link in incognito window now click on this launch option wait for a couple of seconds and from here choose the us central one a as a region or you can say zone again scroll down click on this yes radio button and click on this checkbox and simply click on deploy it will take a couple of seconds so just wait for that and it's finally done now just wait for a couple of seconds and you will get the option like visit this site so just simply click on that now here what you have to do just simply first of all click on this agree option just wait and click on this i agree option then click on this accept now here just give the names like quick lab and for the last name i'm just giving lab for the email address just copy this paste over here like this and for the company name i'm just giving google for the cluster name just type quick lab okay now here for the all the password i will recommend you just use the same password of your lab credentials so just copy the password paste 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 and like this okay so once you're done with these things just simply click on save and continue wait for a couple of seconds again click on save and continue and now just simply click on launch it will take a couple of seconds meanwhile just go back to your dashboard and let's see so our sql instant is still creating so just wait meanwhile just simply click on the stream and here you can see wait for a couple of seconds wait for a second and you will get the option for ssl so just simply click on that ssl and just simply come on the task number three so you are done with the task number two also now here i saw most of you guys making a mistake so what you have to do once your sh is established just copy this first command okay copy this first command and run over here okay just paste and hit enter so you have done with that now again close this ssl again reopen the ssl again scroll down now what we have to do we have to just run these two commands so just copy the first command wait for a couple of seconds click on this cross if you want and run the command over here so you are done with this now just simply scroll down copy this command and just wait for this command get execute so it's done and run the second command and once this command is executed as you can see it's done now close the ssh window and again reopen the ssh window so just wait and click on ssh window it will take again a couple of seconds meanwhile if you just simply click on the check my progress for task number three you will get a score without any issue now make sure you have to run this command okay if you just forget this command you will face the unnecessary error on the task number six and task number seven so just copy this wait for a second and run paste and hit enter 
so it will be done as you can see now just simply click on close now if you just come over here and task number four we have to run all this command on the cloud shell so just go back to your dashboard and let's see so our cloud sql instance is still creating so just wait for to this thing get completed and it's done our cloud sql instance is created and here you can see it asking for a do you want to continue before pressing yes just check this primary address so just copy this primary address and save to your notepad as i am doing so just save over here okay now what you have to do just press y do you want to continue yes wait for a couple of seconds it will take a couple of seconds meanwhile just go back to your lab instructions and come on the task number four and copy this first command okay and it's done and now just paste the first command of task number four like this and here you can see user password okay so once you run this command it will ask for the password so that we have to, if you just simply scroll up this is a user password so just copy this password okay and make sure the password will not visible for you so do not copy any extra space so just copy this password and paste over here just wait and you will get the option to paste a password and here you can see enter a password so just copy the user password and paste over here and hit enter and now you are connect to the user database just go back to the lab instructions copy this first query and run over here and hit enter again scroll down then copy this query and paste over here and you will get this kind of output now just simply scroll down copy this exit command and paste so you are out of your user database now we have to just log into root database so just copy this command paste over here and it will ask for the password again and this time because it is a root database we have to use the root password so this is our root password just copy this password wait for a couple of seconds and paste the password over here and make sure the password will not visible now we are logging to the root database now just copy this com command you can say query run over here okay so we are done with this now just copy this and paste over here so we are done with the task number four task number five is very easy just copy and paste the command so just copy that and paste again copy this and paste again scroll down copy this and paste again scroll down copy this and paste now copy this command just wait for a couple of seconds and it's done now just copy this command paste over here and here you can see it's asking do you want to continue so just press y and just wait and you can see enter a paraphrase so just hit enter 
enter button couple of times like this and once you get a white box or you can say this kind of rectangle box, just wait okay again just scroll down and copy this last command of task number 5 and once this command is executed as you can see it's done so run the last command of the task number 5 and once this command is executed you will get a score on the last uh, on task number 5 and if you just simply click on check my progress you will get a score without any issue as you can see we got a score now for the task number 6 and task number 7 what you have to do just simply scroll up if you want you can use the lab name or you can use the gsp number i will use the gsp number so just copy this gsp number go to my telegram channel the link is in the description box open the telegram channel and in the search bar just type hashtag and gsp number like this so you will get these two files and if you are using the lab name no need to type hashtag okay so just download these two files to your local system and once you're done with this thing just go back to your welcome stream click on login and if this page is broken like uh, if you get error like uh, cannot reach out so just refresh the page or just go to stream and again click on this visit this site okay so just wait it will loading the resources okay now here just type admin as a username and password as your lab credentials password so just copy that and paste over here and it's done now just simply click on app wait for a second then click on this create app and this time just simply click on this import tql file and just go back to your dashboard from here just choose the first file and click on open now just simply click on import wait for a second it's reading the file and it's done now click on this first rectangle okay now here what you have to do if you remember in earlier step i said store your primary address if you didn't store th this primary address what you have to do just go back to your dashboard simply search for the sql and open this thing in new tab and here you can see public ip address so this is your primary address which you have to make the changes so i have already stored the ip address so i will i'm going to use that so just copy this primary address go back to your flow stream and here just make the changes carefully just select this portion remove this and paste your current primary address once you're done with dates just simply click on save okay so you have done with this just wait and component save now click on this second rectangle box and just scroll down and here we have to just change the project id please pay attention guys because this thing the you have to do uh, this thing are very little changes and now just simply click on save so you have done with this thing also okay both the component has updated now just simply click on create then click on this okay before that click on this flow icon okay then click on this create option then click on this deploy option okay then click on deploy make sure you have to click on this flow icon okay so it's deploying okay it's deployed now just simply click on start app and it's running state make sure that you have to first of all click on this wave icon after that you have to just simply click on deploy and all the stuff so we have done with the first app again click on this app then click on this create new app wait for a second again click on this import tql file and this time use the second file make sure you do not you upload same file again and again okay so now i'm going to use the second file just simply click on open again click on this import it will read the file as you can see and it's done now again click on this first rectangle option and again here we have to just change the primary address so just go back to notepad copy this primary address make the changes carefully over here like this okay so you're done with the changes okay just simply click on save and once the component save just cross verify is this updated or not as you can see both the things are correct now what you have to do just copy your project id now click on the second rectangle box scroll down click on this project id and just make the changes okay simply click on save and once the component save make sure you have to click on this wave icon 
and once you get this page just simply click on create deploy app and click on deploy it will be deploying soon and is deployed now again click over here and click on start app and it's verifying and it's in running set so you have done with the if you just go back to task number six you have done with all this stuff okay now just simply come over here on point number 18 of task number six just copy this query search for the big query over here open this thing new tab just paste the query over here like this wait for a second and it's done and simply click on run and once you run this query you can see there is no output okay no need to worry about that because lab take time to update the score over there again scroll down we have done with all this stuff now what you have to do just go to sql instance if you haven't go just simply search for the sql over here and you will redirect over here now just simply click on the name wait for a second scroll down click on this open cloud shell and it will regenerate one command okay so that time what you have to do just here you can see it's using the root okay so what you have to do just go back to your notepad and use the root as a password because it will ask for the password so just copy this and wait for a second and just wait over here and now just enter a password so we have to use the root password just make sure of that paste over here and hit enter the password will not visible for you so we have successfully log in just go back to your lab instruction copy this command or you can say query of task number seven run over here and you are done with this now if you just go back to your big query and click on run this time you will get the output as you can see once you get output just scroll up and check the score for the task number six you will get a score without any issue but task number seven it will take time so just kindly wait meanwhile what you can do you can just check the score for the previous task okay so as you can see we got a score now just we have to wait for a couple of minutes to get a score on the task number seven Okay, again click on check my progress let's see if we got a score or not and no need to worry lab take time to update the scores so just wait for at least 30 seconds and again we will check and finally we got a score for the last task also and that's the way we have to complete this lab if you still have any doubts please let me know in the comment section guys thanks for watching and have a good day